All right, Mr. D, let's talk about apple tree varieties. All right. What kind of information do you have for us? I got some good information. Ah, yes, you do. Uh, there's lots to choose from. Okay. There are 5,000 <laughs> varieties 5, worldwide, and only, you know, fortunately, only 2,000 of them are grown in this country. Wow, so, that's a lot. so we, we only have 2,000 to choose from. Okay. <laughs> and, and what I did is I did a little searching around and uh, for homeowners, I think disease resistance is very important because uh, most homeowners, uh, and I'm one, yes. I don't do as good a job spraying my apple trees as I need mm -hmm. to. And so if I, ha I can have some disease resistance, then that's gonna help me produce a, a nice apple. Okay. Uh, Purdue University did an excellent job comparing different varieties and, and, and uh, looking at disease resistance. And I have uh, uh, in some information from, from Purdue that I wanna share with, with you. And, and it's got hundreds, like probably a hundred varieties plus wow. it's a good in this publication. And, and it's highlighted the ones that uh, are resistant to apple scab which is one of the primary fungal diseases of apples, fire blight, juniper rust, mm -hmm. and powdery mildew. And uh, let me just list these off, and after I get through, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, uh, why you may or may not see these in the grocery store when you, when you go shopping for apples. Okay, and Mr. D, we will have the link to that publication. On our great, that, that's, yes. that's great. Okay. Uh, uh, once again, the, the, uh, the uh, disease-resistant varieties are highlighted on, on the publication. Okay. And the first one is Crimson Crisp. Huh. It is uh, very resistant to apple scab, uh, moderately resistant to powdery mildew and fire blight and susceptible to the rust, cedar apple rust, juniper rust. Okay. Right. The Enterprise is a, a variety nice. that's uh, resistant to scab, fire blight, juniper rust, susceptible to powdery, powdery mildew. Uh, Florina or Quirina is uh, another one that's uh, resistant to everything except the juniper rust. Freedom is resistant to all of those oh, four good. different diseases and problems. Uh, gold Rush, uh, very resistant, moderately resistant to apple scab and fire blight uh, in that order, but susceptible to the rust and powdery mildew. Liberty, mm -hmm. uh, resistant to all four. Uh, Mac Free, uh, resistant to all four. Uh, Nova Easy Grow is resistant to everything except the juniper rust. Okay. Uh, Nova Mac is very resistant to all four of those uh, diseases. Nova Spy <laughs> is resistant to, uh, and I don't understand this, it's resistant to apple scab, susceptible to juniper rust, moderately resistant to powdery mildew, and under fire blight it has non -applica not applicable. So I assume they didn't test it for okay. fire blight yeah, maybe. because it is very applicable. So I would kind of yeah. worry about Nova, and then it's Nova Spy, so maybe. <laughs> it's in the name yeah, Nova Spy. Yeah, name. <laughs> Prima uh, is uh, very resistant to apple scab and powdery mildew, moderately susceptible to fire blight, and very susceptible ju to juniper rust. Priscilla, resistant yeah. to all four. Pristine is the one that I'm familiar with. It's very resistant to apple scab and resistant to fire blight, uh, susceptible to juniper rust, but uh, resistant to powdery mildew. Surprise, mm. resistant to apple scab and powdery mildew, but susceptible to fire blight and the rust. Williams Pride is the last one that's uh, very resistant to apple scab and juniper rust and resistant to fire blight and powdery mildew. So that's 14 varieties of apples that have some really good disease resistance. Um, and again, uh, you may or may not be f familiar with these varieties right. when you buy them from the grocery store because commercial growers, they're gonna go in there, they're, most of them are gonna have a, follow a strict spray schedule. So they choose their varieties based upon taste. Okay. And, and uh, a, a lot of them are the Fuji, Gala, oh, Fuji. you yeah. know, we see those. Uh, we see uh, uh, Red Delicious yeah. and yellow, yellow Delicious apples out there and, and uh, uh, Cameo and Granny and, Smith. And, uh, uh, Granny Smith yeah. uh, but all of those are susceptible. Now I see Granny Smith is resistant to the rust but is, is susceptible to a scab, very susceptible to wow. fire blight, and very susceptible to brown uh, powdery mildew. And wow. uh, so uh, 
also when you you know plant these varieties make sure that you pay attention to the rootstock sure. because uh, rootstock determines the size of, of the tree these apples are grafted on the to rootstocks uh, that can be dwarfing rootstock, which makes the tree very small, semi-dwarf, which is a little larger, yeah. and then full size, which would be a big old apple tree. And so if we're saying they're resistant, does the homeowner still have to spray, though? I probably would ah, because would. this okay. is not all of the diseases. There are okay, a, lot a, lot of, a lot of diseases, uh, you know, fly speck, uh, there's, there's black rot, yeah. and, you know, there are a lot of diseases. This is on, these, these are only four diseases, there are four major diseases. Uh, it would be a good idea if you can to go ahead and do a cover spray okay. for, for apples. And uh, uh, that would be a great idea okay. to do that every, cover you spray. know, you know, 10, seven to 10 days. Wow. And, and, but. But. <laughs> I do understand that, you know, I, I, I just can't do it. I'm right. busy and, and, and I, if you have a job and, and you have other commitments and, you know, you got those four or five apple trees out there in the backyard that's in the mm -hmm. back of your mind, you know you need to go out there every Saturday. Well, Saturday's rain. It right. rains Saturday, right. you can't do it. So it, it's really hard. Right. And I understand that. And you know that from personal experience. I know that you do. from personal yeah, experience. Apple trees. And, uh, you know, I do this for a living and right. I still don't do the job that I need to do. So if I have natural resistance, then that helps me. That helps me a lot. Especially with the really devastating diseases like fire blight. Right. You know, and that's, 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 that's the first one that, I, that I'm going to see. You know. Right. Yeah. The fire the blight usually yeah, com yeah, shows up first for most right. people. And those right. are the causes we get at the extension office is about fire blight. Right. Wow. Right. So if you're using those cover sprays, want to tell folks, make sure they read and follow the label. That's exact. Follow the label. Follow the label. Exactly right. All right, Mr. Yeah. D. Let's get a question about those apple tree varieties. This is a lot, too. How about yeah. that? It's amazing the, yeah. the number of varieties that are out there. Um, uh, you know, and, and you know, you, it's, it's, uh, one thing that's amazing about apple is uh, one that tastes good may or may not make the best pie. <laughs> you know, some of the best tasting apples off the tree uh, the pie is kind of bland, and then some of them that are so tart that'll you know you know <laughs> wake you up, you know, uh, kind of like uh, ammonia. Uh -huh. Make the best apple pies, and you know fried apple pie, uh -huh. you know, the southern southern apple, you know, nothing like an apple pie with a little ice cream on top. So I guess you've eaten a few apple pies. In I have the day, eaten, right? I've eaten more than my share of apple pies. All right, well, All we right. appreciate that good information. Yeah. All right, good deal. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the FamilyPlotGarden.com link in the description.